hello and welcome back to my channel this is the third video in the lookup function series we'll take a look at two simple examples and see how these functions do a vertical search and wildcard match based on multiple criteria so far i think xlookup is the best it is so easy to use the major drawback is that it won't work on other versions of excel except microsoft 365 and maybe future versions of excel which is your favorite don't forget to share in the comment section below. This data shows three departments, GL codes and their description. We'll use these functions to look up the GL code based on this criteria. I use the simple data validation here so I can easily change the criteria. If you're yet to watch previous videos, I suggest you watch them first and come back to this. You'll find the links in the description box below. We'll start with XLOOKUP. XLOOKUP will search the data and return a value based on selected criteria. So type XLOOKUP. The lookup value is retail and pension. Now watch this. When you have to do multiple vertical lookups, all you have to do is concatenate the values just by using the ampersand operator like this. B16 and B17 and XLOOKUP will find it. Next is the lookup array and just like we did for the lookup values we'll concatenate A4 to A12 and B4 to B12. Next is the return array and that is the range to return GL code in C4 to C12. Close the bracket and enter. See? Easy peasy. Now we'll use the same logic for index and match. Remember, the index function will return the value at the position returned by the match function. So type index. We want index to return the GL code. Therefore, the return array is C4 to C12. Match will locate the row number. So type match. Lookup value is retail and pension. And just like we did for X lookup, concatenate C16 and C17. The lookup array is department and description. Select zero for an exact match. Close the bracket for match. The array has only one column, so we skip the column number argument. Close the bracket for index. Now, if you use Microsoft 365, you can hit enter. However, if you use other Excel versions, this is going to be an array formula. So you have to press Control Shift and Enter for this to work. Otherwise, you get a value error. Okay, cool. This is going to be similar to index and match. So let's do this together. Index, the return array is GL code. X match will locate the row number. Lookup value is retail and pension. Comma, the lookup array is department and description. Match and search mode are optional, so skip. Close the bracket for X match. We can skip the column number here as well because the array has only one column. Close the bracket for index and hit enter. Another easy one there. Next is the very popular V lookup. There are several ways you can do this. However, I'll combine VLOOKUP with the IF function in this example. The IF function will be used to filter the table array for VLOOKUP using the second criteria. So let's see how the IF function works. The IF function returns a value if a condition is true and another value if the condition is false. So select the cell next to the table, type IF. The logical test is to find pension in the description column. So if description in A4 to A12 is equal to pension, then if true, return the entire table. If false, return empty cells. Close the bracket. This is an array formula, so it will return multiple results because I'm using the Microsoft 365 version of Excel. Other versions will require you to press Ctrl Shift and Enter for this to work. Check this out. 
now vlookup will find a match for retail in this filtered table i'll copy the formula so type vlookup lookup value is retail the table array is where we need the if function so press ctrl v to paste next is column number gl code is in the third column select false for an exact match close the bracket microsoft 365 users can press enter other excel versions will press ctrl shift and enter nice it works and you can see how vlookup is getting the values in the background this example is similar to the previous one the only difference is the second lookup value here take a look at the description column in the data if we try to look up pension we'll get an error value because the description of pension here is not consistent so we have to use a wildcard character asterisk to be able to locate the item having asterisks before and after pension will make excel find a match with any word that contains pension so let's go x lookup the lookup value is retail and pension the lookup array is department and description the return array is the range to return and that is gl code if not found is an optional argument so we can skip for match mode you need to specify a wildcard match search mode is optional we can skip that close the bracket and enter another easy one there index match works exactly like the previous example index the return array is gl code match will locate the row number lookup value is retail and pension lookup array is department and description select zero for an exact match close the bracket for match close for index just like the previous example if you use microsoft 365 you can hit enter for other versions you have to press ctrl shift and enter let's do this index the return array is 4 to c12 x match will locate the row number lookup value is retail and pension lookup array is department and description now match mode is just like x lookup you need to specify a wildcard match so select two default search mode is from the first item so we can skip that close the bracket and enter super cool finally vlookup now the if function doesn't work with wildcards except you combine it with other functions so i won't be using the if method in this example i'll use what i consider the easiest method and that is by creating a helper column this is because vlookup can only look up a single item so i'll insert a column and make the lookup values a single item remember the lookup value should be in the first column of a table or range so i'll insert a column to the left of department and concatenate department and description now we can write the vlookup formula lookup value is retail and pension table array select the entire table column number is four false for an exact match close the bracket and enter this is not an array formula so you can just press enter now if you don't like the method with the if function you can use this method it's way simpler now to conclude all the functions can be used to achieve the same result however it might not work in all cases xlookup is the best of the bunch it is very easy to use and can do much more than was demonstrated in the examples thanks for watching i hope you found it useful please subscribe and leave a comment below bye